Um, hey everybody, um, this is Miss Kinzer here. Um, I'm here today to do a read aloud on a book that I published on the Anderson Reading Clinic dot org um, website, where there's lots of um, virtual books that we have created, and as in we students and teachers have made. Uh, I was inspired to. Um, make my how-to book um, from attending one of the um, Zoom sessions that was on Wednesday. Uh, we were learning how to write how-to books. And how-to books are basically nonfiction books or teaching books. Um, a lot of people made some how-to books, um, how to make origamis, how to make um, DIY stickers, bracelets and all sorts of things. And I made a how-to book on how to crochet hair. And I wanted to share that with you all today. Um, right now I'm going to share my screen and take you to the Anderson Reading Clinic um, .org page. And on this page you will find the virtual library um, on the books that we've created. Here are different selections of books that we've made. And at the very top is my book. Um, the title of my book is How to Crochet Hair. Are you tired of sitting long hours to get your hair done at a salon? Are you tired of spending tons of money for someone to do your hair for you? Then this is the book for you. In this book, you'll learn how to crochet your own hair. You could save tons of money. Materials. You'll need crochet hair, a brush, crochet needle, comb, hair and scalp conditioner. Step one, comb your hair so that you don't have any tangles. And there's my photo to show that. Step two, part your hair in the direction you'll like your braids to go. And here I have a little text feature here, a caption that's showing you a part. And a part means a section or a division. Step three, apply hair and scalp conditioner where you make your part to give your hair shine and moisture. And here um, you see my finger. Um, you'll, you can apply a little hair and scalp conditioner on your index finger and just rub it down. Step four, brush through your hair to make sure all the tangles are gone and that the hair and scalp conditioner is through the parted area of your hair. Step five, begin to braid your hair. Continue your steps one through five until your whole head is braided down. And here's a picture of my hair braided. And I have another um, caption here. Um, sometimes a braid is called a corn roll. Step six, get your crochet needle and slide it underneath your braid. Step seven, get your crochet hair and find the loop. Loop your crochet hair onto the crochet needle with the latch open and then close it. And here's the loop, crochet hair. Attach the hair with the latch open and then you close it. Step eight, pull your crochet hair underneath the braid and out the other side. Here's a photo of that. Step nine, grab the crochet piece you didn't pull underneath the braid and loop it onto the crochet needle with the latch open and then close it. And here's the piece that we did not pull underneath the braid and we're looping it inside the crochet needle with the latch open and then we're gonna close it. Step 10, pull the crochet hair through the initial loop and you've crocheted your hair. Continue steps six through 10 throughout the whole head, throughout your whole head and you're done. And here's a photo of me with my finished product. And here's my hair today. And like I said, um, I was inspired um, to make this how-to book by attending one of the Zoom sessions for reading and writing. 
that was on that was held on Wednesday, led by um, Dr. Fry, and um, I've seen a lot of students in there. Um, if you're inspired to write or want to write a how-to book, I encourage you to attend um, one of the sessions. Um, your teachers may have shared the links to you all. Just look out for those every week. Um, they're actually really fun. Thank you.